Braves drop a tough one to the Red Sox, two to one. Pitching reigns supreme again. I honestly, I think you could pick a name out of the hat with all our five starter competition, and I'd be absolutely fine with any of them at this point. They are on fire, and I wish we could bottle that up for regular season play because it's just absolutely amazing, and I don't know how our coaching staff and front office is going to choose, and that's a great problem to have. Felix Hernandez, absolutely amazing. Again, five five innings, six hits, one, one run, one earned, two walks, six strikeouts, and the one run he gave up, you guessed it, a leadoff walk. And I feel like 95% of the time when a pitcher gives up a leadoff walk, undoubtedly that run scores. But if they give up a leadoff hit, it's probably about 50, 40% of the time that run scores. But it, leadoff walks, you just can't have those self-inflicted wounds. Um, but Felix was able to limit the damage, only give up that one run, and his strikeout ball was working again with that nasty uh, slider curveball combination, and his fastball command was absolutely pinpoint today. Shea Langelier's glove was a target. He was hitting bullseye uh, just about every single time. So that was absolutely amazing. Not too much stress. He did have to work around a few leadoff lead off double in the first, but he was able to get the ball on the ground. And as I've said continuously in these videos, if you get the ball on the ground with our all-star infield, it's likely gonna be vacuumed up for an out or a double play. And so you, getting the ball on the ground is key for all of our pitchers, but especially Felix Hernandez because with his diminished stuff, he can't get away with 91 up in the zone. You can get away with 95, but not 91. So keeping the ball on the ground for him tonight, he did that amazingly. Tuki Toussaint uh, followed. He had a very effective outing as well. Four innings, uh, one run allowed, one walk, three strikeouts. I believe three hits. I'm not sure. Um, so not terrible at all. But guess what? He gave up his run on a leadoff walk, and he also added a um, hit by pitch in there as well. But he was able to limit the damage with uh, a twin killing in the middle of that as well. So that was great for him. Um, he's just gotta uh, get strike one. But because when it when he gets ball one, ball two, it seems like an automatic walk. And we have a few a few of those guys like that in our system. But he was. Very effective tonight, so um, a good confidence boost for him. Another tough choice for the coaching staff there. Offensively, uh, it's not much to write home about again, other than the fact that it seems like we are stinging the ball. Uh, line drives right at people. Fly balls that should be homers that get knocked down by the wind. Stuff like that. But I, for one, I'm okay with scoring zero to one run in spring training and losing if if we're gonna save all all our runs for the regular season when they count so i'm good with that we did do some little things right tonight freddie freeman doing freddie freeman things one for two sacrifice fly in a single marcelo zuna got himself a single so that's nice vibes for him um charlie culverson the the tough luck batter of the night uh bases loaded no out and he lined to do a double play just right at Jose Peraza, stung the ball. Just not going our way right now, but if the baseball gods will switch during the regular season, I am fine with that. But as always, go Braves. I can't wait to see the boys play live tomorrow.